Ray. So we are only in this Airbnb for one night. So I just want to give you guys like a quick little tour real quick. I think the room is so adorable. Like I love balcony so much. But right over there, like the living room is like a shared space, but nobody is here but us. But this is basically like our private room. I love that vanity. Like I need to record something like I have to. Anywho, but yeah, so basically like they have this cute like chair layout, a cute bed by my boyfriend. So we're not there, but this is also the bathroom. And then I like have my stuff all over the place. I'm so messy, but let me see. Did I turn the light on? Yes. So this is basically the balcony area. It is so nice. I'm kind of sad that we're really only here for like just the night. Our flight leaves at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning and we are going to Goa. And then, um, yeah, that's really much it. We had to come to Kochi. I didn't vlog that just because I had been up prior since like 5 p.m. that night. I was just tired. I'm gonna wake my boyfriend up to make sure if he wants to go to dinner at the hotel that's right beside us just before we head to Goa. And we were supposed to be in Goa for two weeks, but then he got a message saying that like his final exams start soon. Well, it starts during the time we're supposed to be in Goa, which we should have just went to Goa first and then came but i mean it's okay it is what it is i can always come back to india and i plan on it anywho but yeah so we're just gonna go to goa for three days we're gonna be there all day tomorrow because we leave at 6 a.m and it's only an hour flight so we'll get there around like 7 8 <coughs> we'll have all day that day or the next day like i have so many outfits like i packed for two weeks two weeks for this goa trip and you can't like in india you can't wear certain clothing in certain areas so goa is like very touristy very beach area so like all the clothes i have is like for that so i'm about to be wearing literally three outfits a day like i'm not wasting none of it and we're staying at a really nice resort i'm like really excited so yeah that is a little quick update on just where we are it is november 6 and we'll be in goa from november 7 to the 9th no no yeah yeah from the 9th and then we'll head back to trivandrum for the very last week which i'm so sad like i don't even want to think about it like i've been in india now for two weeks and i have kind of two weeks left like i leave on the 19th so i have one full week and then like <laughs> almost two weeks i don't even want to think about it it's just it's gonna make me cry and we're not gonna do that on camera because i don't cry on camera i'm just gonna organize and basically get what i'm gonna be wearing to the um to the airport tomorrow like I have this whole stuff is dresses, skirts. Like I gotta make use of all of this, all of it. We're gonna be literally doing so much in such a short amount of time. And I can't say I'm disappointed because I'm really just happy to be able to be here with him and just like spend time with him and stuff. But like, look at all these clothes. Like, uh, you can't wear that in Japan. Oh, oh, and another thing of clothes. Um, I'm just gonna like reorganize my suitcase, maybe try to pick out what I'm wearing tomorrow to the airport. I got these cute bags. My dad got this for me when he went to Tulum, I think. And then when I went to LA, I got this shirt bag um, when my friend and my boyfriend bought me some shoes. So these are like really cute beach bags, but yeah, it's like I'm trying to continue to enjoy my time, but then as like the time slowly comes, it's like, it's 
sucks. I'm gonna be leaving soon. We have a plan and we're gonna work the plan. But you know, once you find somebody, you know, a long distance is worth it in my case. So Woo! We are at the Kochi Airport, ready to basically leave to go to Goa. I look so rough right now, <laughs> but he's sleepy, so I will let him sleep. I don't even know. Okay, one through ten. All right, let me double check, see what seat number we are. I think we're like seat number eight. All right, come on. It's time to board. Well, it's time to board. So they're doing, they're doing seats one through ten, and we're eight. Yay. You excited? I know you're just waking up. <laughs> officially landed in Goa and it is 7.30 in the morning. Way too early to check, check into a hotel, but we're gonna go do it anyways. And if I gotta pay extra, then that's just what we gonna have to do because we tired. We are in Goa. Why did Uber try to charge us double the price talking about 1,500 rupees? We go to the prepaid taxi and they're like, oh, 750, we're like, we'll take it. So he's carrying our luggage. He ready to go. He ready to make that money, baby. Ooh, I'm ready to go to the hotel and sleep for a little bit and then start the day. Cause we're only here for three days. So we really got to utilize this time and my outfits. This was the only flight at like 6 a.m. So we're gonna try to see if we can check in early, but it's so pretty. All right, since it is so early, I'm literally just gonna film the content and resort stuff right now because there's nobody out here. And yeah, so welcome to Kennyworth, I think, Kennyworth Resort. Then the view from all the way over here I wish the pool was open though. I'm not sure why it's not open. Hi! Oh my goodness! You're so pretty! Oh! You, oh, what did he say to me? <laughs> Don't mislead her. She thinks you're going to give her food. I am going to give her food. Story time. So the way here was fine. Got up at 4 a.m. Even though we got double charged by the Uber, which is fine. I mean, when you put it in rupees form, it's really not that expensive. But then it's also like because it's ruby form, you know, but so, you know, we were like, whatever. We went through the Airbnb person to get a taxi at 4 a.m. They knew exactly where they were going and they were going to drop us off. Was it three to two times the price? Yes. Um, but we were like, we're going to let that go. That's fine. Boom. We get here early one because our flight came in at like 733. 
Thank you. Basically, we're trying to um, get this room upgrade or whatever. And on I paid two hundred dollars for the room. On the website, it says that the next room is only two oh six, which includes fees and taxes, right? So we're just gonna stick with our room. Which is fine. I just don't see a point in paying double the price or triple, not even triple the price, 10 times the price. It's okay. Keep We're going to have a good. <laughs> My boyfriend's like, keep calm, keep calm. My period also just started, so I'm a little fired up. I mean, there are a couple things that has me fired up. I saw one of the security guards grab a puppy by its neck and literally like slam it into the rocks and i was just like there are so many like other ways to just handle that you know what I mean? the yeah he literally took it and slammed it and then he picked it up again by its neck and took it to the beach why did he slam it to the rock? because he's fucked up that's why something's wrong with him and he was laughing about it he thought it was funny so that's what made me mad because your orders aren't to go pick a puppy up by the neck, choke the heck out of it, slam it into the rocks and get it off the property. Your job is to get the dog off the property. He did all that extra stuff because that's just who he is as a person and that's just his character and that's disgusting. And that made me really upset and I did say something to him about how I was like, I know y'all have jobs to do but like that could have been handled differently it wasn't some big aggressive dog it was literally a puppy that when he ran towards it it literally bent down like this the puppy was not going to bite him the puppy was scared he did that because he felt like he had more power and control and he abused his power and that and i didn't like that like this hotel is nice but after seeing that dealing with all the extra bull crap it's just a five out of ten I don't want to give the people who weren't involved in that a hard time and I don't want to be rude to like other staff and members because that was his actions alone that I saw. I didn't see anybody else engage in it but it's just disappointing to see it really ruin my vibe and it does not make me want to be here anymore. Ooh, that was a nice bite. <laughs> So we ordered chicken alfredo, wait, no chicken alfredo, just alfredo. And I ordered <laughs> some fries as a side. We are leaving this hotel. We've barely been checked in and it's just been a bad experience. It's probably just the perp. That's the people getting the bags now. We're paying over $200 a night. The electricity keeps going off. The hot water doesn't even work. The main pool is closed. <sighs> Their security guards make me feel uncomfortable, especially with that dog situation. And it, it's more than just a dog. It's just, you can tell as a person. It's just, uh, just ready to go. Ready to go? Yeah. We're getting the fuck up out of here. We're going to the Grand Hyatt Go, which is even nicer and it was cheaper than this place. And I'm pissed. Do we have any more? Like, it's no reason that we're paying $200 a night and the electricity is going off every 10 seconds or every 5 minutes. We don't have hot water. We paid for an Airbnb that was $25 a night and their water was hot as hell. So there's no point that we're at a resort, the main pool is closed, we're tail security guards, the people trying to charge us extra for a room upgrade when on the website it's only $6 more and they're trying to charge us literally 10 times the price. <sighs> Ready to go y'all, like I'm just, since we, like everything was going well and then it's just slowly been trickling i'm not trying to sound like a brat but like when you're paying all this money and you're trying to have a good experience like in a different country like i don't have time as a foreigner to be uncomfortable especially with the security guard because it's more about the type of person that he was for that and somebody like that clearly will over abuse their power 
and that makes me feel uncomfortable as a foreigner because if he, like he sees me like that, uh, I don't even feel like I have to explain myself. I'm just ready to go. Woosa. Sorry if I sound like a brat, y'all. I hope y'all don't come for me, but it's just like when you pay all this money, like you expect things to go well. Like it's no reason why I paid $25 a night at an Airbnb and it's better than a $200 resort. Like there's no reason for that. You okay? Oh. <laughs> you dying back there. Let me go, y'all.